Activate Blippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy! <laughs> Me too! I love looking at spooky houses decorated for Halloween! Wow! Look at all the jack-o'-lanterns! Let's go check it out! <laughs> Oh, hello, Mr. Pumpkin. You scared me. You're welcome, Blippi. I love to be scared. It's fun. <laughs> it is? Hmm, I wonder. Is it really fun to be scared? Only one way to find out. Let's have a scare contest. Huh? Hmm, okay. Let's do it. Yikes! Score one for Team Pumpkin! Team? I don't see anyone else. Uh, yikes! <laughs> oh, hi again, Bones! That's two points for Team Pumpkin! Come on, Bones! Let's plan our next scare! Hmm, we have to come up with a good scare, Debo. What can we do? Huh? <gasps> I have an idea! I'll wear this mask and stand on your shoulders while you howl. <laughs> Let's go. This is gonna be good. Ooh. <laughs> Score one for Team Flippy. <laughs> Got us good, Blippi! Yeah! Nice work, Debo! Whoa, 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 whoa! Cool! A secret hallway? Huh? Oh boy, this is really going to scare them! <laughs> For Team Blippi! The next team to score a point is the winner! Yeah! Hold on, Debo. I have an idea. Let's hide in that cauldron and jump out and scare Mr. Pumpkin and Bones. Hey, Bones! Let's hide in that cauldron and jump out to scare Blippi and Debo! Yikes! <laughs> I guess it's a tie. <laughs> All right, Halloween is the best. But I still don't know the answer to my question. Is it really fun to be scared? <laughs> yeah! yeah! All right, upload answer, Debo. Thanks for an awesome scare contest, Mr. Pumpkin. I had a lot of fun. No problem, Blippi. I had a lot of fun, too. Ready, Debo? <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah, it's not quite what I envisioned. I wish I could make a few changes. Oh, yeah! I can use an eraser! Hmm, I wonder, how does an eraser work? Great idea, Debo! We'll shrink down and get a closer look! I'm gonna need a grabber arm and helicopter blades! Grabber arm, helicopter blades, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Hmm, even up close, it sure does need some changes. Maybe I can help. Huh? I am the amazing Ernie! Hey, 
Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. We're here to learn how an eraser works. Well, you came to the right eraser because I can make anything <gasps> disappear. Even pencil markings. That's amazing. Come see, it's the best show in town. The tip of a pencil is made of graphite, and when you rub it on paper, it leaves a mark. Cool. Oh, huh. Let's take a closer look through a magnifying glass. Graphite gets left behind on the paper because it actually sticks to the paper. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. Huh? I got it. Phew. That was close. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, Ernie, can you erase this graphite mark? Oh, what a great idea! I will make that mark disappear by erasing it. When an eraser like me rubs against the paper, it creates friction and heat. Awesome! The heat makes the eraser stickier than the paper, so the graphite comes loose from the paper and sticks to the eraser instead. Friction also causes the eraser to disintegrate or fall apart. See the small bits coming off? <laughs> You've got a few on you. Oh, they're cute. Wrap the eraser on the paper enough, and boy, oh boy, the graphite comes off. Ta-da! My disappearing act. Oh, that's amazing. Was it magic? No, it's science. Cool. And I got the answer to my question. How does an eraser work? Erasers work by using friction to make them stickier than paper. So the graphite on the paper clings to the eraser. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for the magic show, Ernie. Now it's time for us to disappear. Goodbye, Blippi. It was magic to meet you. Halloween is the best, Tabs. And I love trick-or-treating, too. Hey, look! A haunted house! Whoa! Look at all the decorations! So cool! You're right, Tabs. Maybe there are treats inside. Hmm, I wonder. What's inside a haunted house? Let's find out. Ready, Tabs? Tabs! What? I better go into the haunted house to find Tabs. This should be fun! Hi! It's me, Blippi. I'm looking for my friend Tabs. Have you seen her? Hi, Blippi. I'm Mr. Pumpkin. Was that a ghost? Probably, yeah. I haven't seen Tabs, but you can look for her in this house full of magical and spooky fun. Great! Maybe my friend Bones has seen Tabs. He's in the basement. I'd start by taking the stairs. All right. Ooh, wee! <laughs> it turned into a slide. <laughs> Mr. Pumpkin? Tabs? Hello? Whoa! Sorry. Don't worry. It happens all the time to Bones. Maybe he's seen Tabs. <laughs> I better sweep him up. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, Whee! Sorry again, Bones. Whoa, maybe that flying ghost knows where Tabs is. Let's follow it. <laughs> whoa, hi, witch. Bye, witch. Hmm. Well, I guess this is a dead end. I wonder where everyone went. <laughs> cool! A spinning wall! Whoa! Woohoo! Congrats, Blippi! You made it all the way through my haunted house! The tricks are over, but now it's time for the treats! But wait! I still haven't found Tabs! <laughs> tabs? You were the ghost the whole time? Well, now I have the answer to my question. What's inside a haunted house? 
fun, spooky skeletons, cobwebs, a talking pumpkin, spiders, a witch, and a floating tabs ghost. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for letting us have fun in your house, Mr. Pumpkin. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Mmm, what's better than a delicious piece of fruit? You're right, Debo. Vegetables are yummy too. Hmm, I wonder, what's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Super suggestion. We'll go into that garden to figure it out. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Okie dokie, artichokey. Activate Blippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. All right, we're in a community garden where all kinds of fruits and vegetables grow. And look, there's one right now. Step right up. You're the next contestants on Slim Cucumber Certified Fresh Game Show. Fruit all vegetables. See how lost your names. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> Blippi and Debo, a quick review before we start. All fruits have a pit or seeds in them and grow on a plant with flowers. Fruits have pits or seeds and always flowers. Got it. And vegetables are different. There are root and leaves. Got that too. Excellent. Let's play. Tell me, Blippi, is this carrot a fruit? Oh, ooh, the carrot is a vegetable because it's a root and has leaves. That's right! But can Blippi go two for two? So tell me, is this tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Hmm, this is tough. Okay, a tomato grows from a plant, but it has seeds. It's also a vegetable? Oh, sorry. Tomato is a fruit. Now, your final question, Blippi. Can you tell me if this strawberry is a fruit or vegetable? Strawberry is a, a fruit. Yes, strawberry is a fruit. A two for two correct answers, which means this trophy is all yours. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Slim. And I also have the answer to my question. What's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Vegetables are roots and leaves, and fruits have flowers in a pit or seeds. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Mr. Slim. Congrats to you, Blippi. That's our game. I'm Slim the Cucumber, and by the way, I'm a fruit. Tune in next time for our special guest, Madam Mango, on Fruit of Vegetables! I don't think your guitar is working right, Debo. Hmm, I wonder, how does a guitar work? You're right, Debo. Let's go find out. <laughs> I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Rock and roll! That sounded great. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. I'm picky. We were wondering how a guitar works. Can you show us? I can, but I can't work the guitar by myself. I'll need your help to play it right. Okay. When I pick a string, 
it goes back and forth really fast, which makes a note. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> You're right, Debo. My string is much thicker than yours. I bet it's harder to balance for you. The faster the string goes back and forth, the higher the note. <laughs> How do you make other notes on a guitar? That's why I needed your help. Hey, Debo, could you move towards the far end of the neck, mate? <gasps> now back towards me. <laughs> Solo! <laughs> well, that explains how different notes are made. Why does the guitar have such a big body? That's the part that makes it loud. Thank you. Hey, come stand over here on the soundboard. We're going up and down too. When I pluck the string, the whole guitar body vibrates, and the sound hole there makes it super loud, huh? like a, oh, like shouting while cupping your hands over your mouth. <laughs> Hello. Wow! That was loud! Right! Practice is over. Time to jam! One, two, three, four! Thank, Thank you! <laughs> and now I have the answer to my question. How does a guitar work? Guitars work because the strings vibrate and make sound, which is made louder by causing the whole hollow guitar body to vibrate. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye bye Picky. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Debo. Remember to always keep rocking. <laughs> You're right, Debo. This is a kangaroo crossing. And we are in Australia. So, I guess you never know when a kangaroo might... Whoa! Bounce in! Wow! What a spectacular jump! Hmm, I wonder, how high can a kangaroo jump? Great idea! We'll go ask that kangaroo. I'm gonna need frog legs for this adventure. Frog legs confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! We're in the Outback, so let's go find a kangaroo! Oh, hi there! I'm Rooney! What brings you to these parts in your cool looking car? Hi, Rooney! It's me, Blippi! And this is Debo. We wanted to see how high a kangaroo can jump. Pleasure to meet you. Well, I can jump as high as your mobile here, but I can jump higher. Oh, Rooney's hopping pretty high and super fast. Ah, you're pretty fast yourself. You up for a little race, Blippi? Sounds fun. All right, let's race around that big sandstone rock down there. We call it Uluru, or Ayers Rock. It's the heart of Australia. Whoa, so cool. And the first bag here wins. You're on, Rooney. By the way, there may be a fence or two in the way. Good to know. <laughs> jumper we've ever seen! And now I have the answer to my question. How high can a kangaroo jump? Kangaroos can jump up to 10 feet off the ground. Upload answer, Debo. That was fun, Blippi. 
Gotta cool down. That's why I'm licking my arm. It's a kangaroo thing. <laughs> Bye. Bye -bye. Driving at night is so much fun! And we have the streets all to ourselves. Whoa! What was that? It's pretty late for animals to be out. You're right, Debo. That's definitely an animal. Hmm. I wonder, why do some animals come out at night? I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find that nighttime animal. Ah! Oh. What's yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. We were wondering why some animals, like you, are out at night. See, I'm nocturnal. That means that everything you like to do in the daytime, I like to do at nighttime. So cool. Hey, do you think this thing can help me find some food? Of course. I think the Blippi Mobile could do almost anything. Oh, look at her go. Debo, follow that raccoon. You aren't supposed to use the Blippi Mobile without permission. That's stealing. Sorry! Us raccoons will do almost anything for food. <laughs> I'm freezing, Rita. It's so cold at night. Aren't you cold too? Me? No way! I've got this big fur coat that helps me keep nice and warm all night. <laughs> I wish I had a big coat or something to keep me warm. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! It's okay, Blippi! Look! Oh, thanks, Rita! That's another great thing about being nocturnal. A lot of the animals that want to chase me are asleep. I like it better with less unfriendly predators around. <laughs> Something smells good. Let's go! To the Blippi-mobile! This time, I'll drive! <laughs> That looks complicated, Rita. How are you going to open it? No problem. Raccoons are great problem solvers, as long as there's food involved. Ha! Jackpot! With less animals around, I don't have to share all of this great food. What an amazing adventure. And I got the answer to my question. Why do some animals come out at night? Some animals like to come out at night because there is less competition for food, there are fewer predators and people around, and because it's cooler at night. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Goodbye, Blippi! I'm off to greener dumpsters! Bye-bye, Rita! I love being at the beach. Whoa! A flying fish! Hmm, I wonder, what's underneath the ocean? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow! It's a whole other world down here. Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly! It is a forest! Welcome to my neighborhood! My name's Jerry, Jerry the Jellyfish! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're down here to see what's in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's a lot. The ocean's full of surprises. I'll show you. I'm going to meet my friends. Well, I'll give you a tour along the way. All right, thanks, Jerry. First stop, 
our kelp forest. This kelp can grow up to 150 feet. Wow, that's so tall. Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around. Kelp, kelp! Oh no, this never happens. <laughs> Great idea, Tabs. Let's use the turbo boosters. Oh good, glad you're okay. Let's move on. Whoa, that fish is blue and has a long nose. She's a blue marlin. She uses her nose to find and catch food. She's also really fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, this never happens. <coughs> yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here. Wherever we are. Jerry. Jerry? Flippy, is that you in there? Oh no, hold on. <sighs> Whoa! I scared a gray whale and she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens. Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up. I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look, it's your friends. Hiya, pals. You guys found me. And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus, and a shark, and a sea turtle, and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. Oh, and there's an otter, and a seahorse, and a lobster, and a stingray. Whoa, bouncy sand dune. And even bouncier. Wow, what an amazing sandcastle. Wave incoming. Oh, no. Oh, looks like that castle was no match for that wave. Huh, I wonder, can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? <laughs> yeah, you're right, Tebs. There is only one way to find out. I need to build a sandcastle of my own. I'm gonna need the excavator arm and spider legs. Excavator arm, spider legs confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for action. Let's go make a sandcastle that won't get washed away. Now we need to make ourselves sandcastle size. Drinking down! Feel that cool ocean breeze, Tabs. Whoa! Hi there, I'm Krabby the Crab. Pleasure to meet you. Ooh, crocky, I don't know my own strength. Hi, Krabby. It's me, Blippi. And this is my Blippi mobile. I love it. <laughs> so, you out taking a fun ride? Actually, Krabby, I'm here because I'm curious if I can build a sandcastle that won't get washed away. You came to the right, Crab. I'm a planner, digger, and a builder. I can help you, Blippi. Great. So, the first thing we're going to do is build a moat. That's a fancy word for a hole. You see, the water goes into the hole and doesn't wash away what's behind it. So, let's dig. <laughs> dig, 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 dig. Wow, what a hole. Now let's build a sandcastle. You're right, Tabs. We are going to need a shovel. Finished. Success. You already built it, Krabby. And our moat is perfect. The moat's the hole we dug all around the sandcastle. Great moat. And best sandcastle ever. Wave incoming! The moat worked, Krabby. This means I think I have the answer to my question. Can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? I can by making a hole around it to hmm. catch the water. Upload answer tabs. Thanks, Krabby. See you later, Blippi. Keep on digging. <laughs> Look 
at that snowflake! Whoa! Whoa! I agree, Debo! Snowflakes are beautiful! Hmm, I wonder, how is a snowflake made? You're right, Debo! We can go up into a cloud and find out! I'm going to need a grabber arm and wings! Grabber arm, wings, confirm. Activate Flippy Station! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Let's go find out how a snowflake is made! We're way up high! And the air is very cold! Isn't it so chill? I mean, welcome to my cloud! Huh. Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Debo. It looks like you're working hard! Huh. You're right! I'm a small particle now, but soon I'll be a big snowflake! Can you pass me those big water vapor clouds? The water in the cloud freezes on me, and then I grow more crystals! One snowflake can contain as many as 100 ice crystals! All of those ice crystals sure made you strong, Mimi. Here! Yeah! Go catch, Debo! <laughs> now that I'm heavy enough, I can fall towards the ground! Follow me! Yay! <laughs> Mimi, each time water vapor sticks to you and becomes ice crystals, you get even bigger and more impressive! Thanks! You have six points, same as every other snowflake, but your own one-of-a-kind design. Yep, no two snowflakes are alike. That means there's no one like me. That's why I'm called Mimi. A snowman, perfect. I can land there with the rest of my squad. I did it. Stop the landing. Way to go, Mimi. And I have the answer to my question. How is a snowflake made? It starts as a particle in the air and collects ice crystals as it gets colder and colder, eventually forming a unique snowflake. Upload answer, Debo. Bye bye Mimi. Bye, Blippi. Whoa, that bird is carrying lots of twigs. Right, Debo, she's bringing them to her nest. Hmm, I wonder, how do birds build a nest? Good idea. Let's follow that bird and see if she'll show us. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Hey, it's me, Flippy, and this is Debo. Oh no! What happened to your nest? Hi, Flippy and Debo! I'm Jody. My nest was damaged in a storm last night. Oh, don't worry, Eggies. Mama's on a mission to rebuild our nest. We were wondering how you build the nest. Well, I could use an extra wing to look after my two eggs. Debo would love to exit. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Debo. Now, Blippi, can you come with me to get supplies? Grass, mud and twigs. They're all near Jake's place, so we'll need to keep him busy. Very unfriendly. Let's go. A nice birdie! <laughs> Jody, what's the status of that grass? Grass acquired! Time to get the mud! Mud is landing in the nest! 
Now all we need are some twigs from the end of this branch. This guy again? Oh, oh thanks, Debo. <laughs> Time to build. First, I make a circle with twigs and grass. Then, add more twig circles higher on top of each other. Whoa! You use your beak to build it. The mud is like glue, holding the nest together. Your nest is fantastic, Jody. And I know the answer to my question. How do birds build a nest? Birds like Jody find natural things like grass and twigs, then use mud to hold it all together. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Blippi and Debo. Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye, Jody. Bye, eggs. Rain will be gone soon, Tabs? Great! Since I just finished my fun painting! Can you guess what it is? Wow, Tabs! Exactly right! It is a penguin holding a cup of tea while rollerblading through a jungle. So many colors! <gasps> Whoa! A rainbow! So many colors! I wonder, how does a rainbow get its colors? Great idea, Tabs. We can fly up and ask the rainbow and find out. But first, I'm gonna need wings. Wing confirmed. Let's go explore. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a rainbow gets its colors. Guys and gals, attention please! The Big Blue Sky is proud to present nature's greatest influencer, I'm Bowie the Rainbow! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi! I'm a big fan, Bowie. I know all your colors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of my colors. <laughs> Let me show them off one by one. I don't. Red, orange, yellow, green. Blue, indigo, violet. Wonderful job, Blippi. You know, today's a big day. We're doing a double rainbow showstopper. Oh, you must be part of my performance. Really? I'd be honored, but um, I don't know how you get all your colors. Could you show me? Of course, super fan Blippi. First, let's check out this puffy cloud called a cumulus cloud. Ooh, it looks like it just rained too, which is perfect. That means there are lots of water droplets in the air. Wow, this cloud has so many teeny drops of water. Hashtag true. Okay, next step, position the cloud so the sunlight shines true to water droplets like this. Now, when the light goes true to water, it bends or refracts and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Voila. That is awesome. I think I have the answer to my question. How does a rainbow get all its different colors? It's when... The sunlight shines through water. It bends the light and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Upload answer tabs. A five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Don't forget to like and subscribe. How you doing? All right, see you later, Flippy. Gigantic truck! You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a monster truck special? Good idea! We can catch up with that monster truck and find out. I'm gonna need monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Debo? Whoa, Debo! You have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck! Alright, let's ride! 
Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure! Crash! Crash! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo! You really crushed that car! Hi, Blippi! I'm Megan! So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special! Cool! Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do! Great! You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall, monster tires! I'm 13 feet tall! Wow! Let's do this! All right! <laughs> huh? Huh? Crash! We can't bounce as high as you, Megan! And oh boy, we're almost tipping over! Well, I have heavy duty suspension, which are special springs, so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race and have competitions. Cool! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Welcome aboard, Flippy! Buckle up! to dominate the obstacle course. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow! This is awesome! How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four-wheel steering, so I can turn all four oh. wheels at once instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. <laughs> Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed! <laughs> I nailed that! Megan, that was amazing! And I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs> It's a garbage truck. I can see it and <laughs> smell it too. <laughs> wow, Tabs, even you think it's stinky and you're a robot. Wait, where's that buzzing sound coming from? Oh, flies. Hey, those flies just flew into the garbage truck. Hmm. I wonder why do flies love garbage? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the garbage truck to find out the answer. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why flies love garbage. Shrinking Hold your breath, Tabs. We're going in. I'm in the garbage truck. Welcome. <laughs> I'm Horace the Fly. Looks like your first time here. Hmm? Hi, Horace. It's me, Blippi. This is my first visit to a garbage truck. <laughs> Little stinky, huh? <gasps> Not for me. I love smells. Follow me. I'll show you around. This place is like my playground. <laughs> Whoopsies! Sorry about that. Hey, Horace. Why do flies love garbage? Because it's delicious and garbage makes me fly. We've got stinky beans, moldy cheese, greasy pizza boxes, and even leftover mystery mush. <laughs> Sorry, must have been the beans. I could give you a ride to the nearest garden or fly restaurant. Horace! Where are you? Everything's coming up! Garbage! Oh, is that cake? Oh, no, that was not cake. Still good, though. Gotta dash and eat all the trash. Horace has more energy now. 
Aha! Which means I think I have the answer to why flies like garbage. It's because they love the smell and they find food there. That's so silly. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Yes, sir, Pippi! For me, a garbage truck is a 24-7 all-I-can-eat restaurant! Woohoo! Go, Horace! Thanks! Cheers, Blippi! Mmm, I love chocolate! Just a little bit now and then. Do you love it too, Debo? Oh, right! Dogs can't have chocolate. It hurts their tummies. Hmm, I wonder, how are chocolate bars made? Great idea! We can go into that chocolate factory and find out. I'm gonna need wings, hovercraft, and a prop engine. Wings, hovercraft, prop engine, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Let's go meet some chocolate bars in the chocolate factory. Hey there! <gasps> You're not Cocoa Beans! I need them so we can start making chocolate bars! <laughs> I'm not a bean, it's me, Blippi! And this is Debo! Hi, Blippi! Hi, Debo! <laughs> I'm Barb the Chocolate Bar! Welcome to my chocolate factory. Thanks, Barb. I'd love to see how chocolate bars are made. Can we come with you? Absolutely. It all begins with cocoa beans. These beans come from plants. So how do beans become a chocolate bar? <laughs> they go on a little journey. First, a bean bath. Next, our beans get roasty and toasty. Then they get made into teeny weeny beans. <laughs> our bean powder then gets mixed with sugar and milk to make them sweet and smooth. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on, Debo, time to ski. <laughs> no, but it'll be fun. It's Chocolate Bar Debo! After the chocolate is cooled into bar shapes, we wrap them and they're ready! Ta da! Whoa! You both look alike! And I have the answer to my question How are chocolate bars made? Cocoa beans get washed, heated, crunched, mixed with milk and sugar, and then cooled down into a chocolate bar. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet tour, Barb. Anytime. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, Tabs, that bouncy castle is out of this world. Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to bounce on the moon? Great idea, Tabs. We can go to the moon and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster, excavator arm, and frog legs. Jets, excavator arm, frog legs, confirmed. Okay, let's go explore. The Blippi Mobile is ready to blast off for adventure. And there's the moon! <laughs> yeah! Okay, time to land. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Who are you? My name's Rocky the Moon Rock because uh, I'm a rock. Hey, Rocky. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're here to find out what it's like to bounce on the moon. Hmm, 
I never tried it myself, being a rock. But let me see if I can just get up. All right. Then let's bounce. I'm light as a feather up here. I never knew I could have been having so much fun. Woohoo! It's amazing that we're staying up here this long. Why does it take so long to float down? Because of gravity. It's the invisible force that keeps your moon boots on the ground. It pulls things back down. But, 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 there's way less gravity around the moon than on Earth because the moon is so much smaller. That's why we float for so long. I have the answer to my question. What would it be like to bounce on the moon? It's so fun, and the bounces are really big. Because there's less gravity on the moon than there is on Earth. Upload answer tabs. We feel like we're floating, but gravity is slowly pulling us back down. Cha, 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 cha. Thanks for the greatest time that I, Rocky the Moon Rock, ever had. <laughs> Bye, Rocky. Keep on bouncing, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, look at that. Tabs? It's an adorable kitty cat. <laughs> and look at those super long whiskers. Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs. Let's follow that kitty cat and find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Ready for adventure. Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa, what was that? Hey, it's me, Blippi. What's your name? Hit please the name and treats are my game. Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> Holding out on what? Shh. Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me. <laughs> Yeehaw! Woo! Flawless. How do you land so perfect? My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this! Aha. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippi! It's so dark! How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats. No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all. What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Snackpod! <laughs> Would you look at that? Woo-hoo-hoo! I'm happier than a big and mud. What a great adventure, Kipley! We found the treats! And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment 
and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye-bye, Kipley. Thanks, Blippi. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all. web looks amazing! You're right, Debo! Spiderwebs do have such artistic designs! I wonder, how do spiders make their webs? Yes! Let's go find a spider to ask! I'm gonna need wings and spider legs! Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Bonjour! I'm Spencer! You're just in time to watch me make my latest artistic creation! Hey! It's me, Blippi! Are you about to make a web? I am! It's going to be my greatest masterpiece! The webbiest web of all time! <gasps> Want to help? Yeah! I really want to learn how spiders make their webs. Time to create! Debo, I'll be right back. Oh, Blippi, you can be my holder and tester! My web will be a circle-shaped design with some triangles in the middle. What kind of string do you use to make your web? I use silk strands that I make myself and they shoot out of my stomach! To a spider or bug, these strands are as strong as steel! That is so cool! Next, the circles to complete my masterpiece! Can you hold this strand in place, Blippi? Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! It is a circle shape! Ah, perfect! Grab that strand, Blippi, to swing out for a look! Whoa! Amazing! Wait! Is that a picture of me in your web? It is you! My masterpiece! Now you can test it! Bounce against it! See if it holds! Whee! Whoa! The sticky part is for catching bugs to eat! <laughs> Your web is beautiful and useful, Spencer. And you answer my question. How do spiders make their webs? They use super strong and sticky silk strands to create a web with a cool circular design. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for showing us how you make a perfect web, Spencer. Bye-bye. <laughs> Au revoir. Oh, look at that! It's amazing how big dinosaurs were! You're right, Debo. There were bigger dinosaurs than the T-Rex. Hmm, I wonder, what was the biggest dinosaur? Good idea, Debo! We can go back in time and find the biggest dinosaur! I'm gonna need wings and extendo legs! Wings, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> Going back in time! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Okay, where is the biggest dinosaur? Whoa! The rock is moving! We aren't sitting on a rock, we're on a very big dinosaur's back! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo! Hi, Blippi and Debo! I'm Angie, the Argentinosaurus! Whoa! That is a big name for a big dino! I have to break it up to say it right! R Gen Teen O Sor Us! That's me! So, I'm on my way to meet a friend. Oh, oh, do you want to come along? 
Thanks for inviting us. Do you want to race? I bet you can run super fast. Actually, I walk slowly. That's part of being so big. Plus, I need to snack to keep up my energy. I eat hundreds of pounds of plants every day. You want to get a selfie of you and all of Angie? Good luck, Debo. Whoa, you're really long. I'm about 130 feet long and 40 feet tall. That's as long as three school buses and a little taller than a telephone pole. Yum. The hill we go! I be your bridge! Whoa. <laughs> it tickles! <laughs> yeah! This is where I meet my friend. <laughs> hey! Good shot, Devo! We're both in it! <laughs> oh, and look! So is my friend! Sorry I'm late! Hey! This is my good friend, Nina! Nina, this is Bleepy and Debo. <laughs> They're looking for the biggest dinosaur. That's an easy one. You're the biggest dinosaur around, Angie. Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> so cool. And I have the answer to my question. What was the biggest dinosaur? One of the biggest dinosaurs was the Argentinosaurus. It was 130 feet long and ate plants and leaves all day. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Angie and Nina. Bye, Blippi! Bye, Blippi! Whoa! Look at all those elephants! Hmm, I wonder, what do elephants use their trunks for? You're right, Debo! We should go ask one and find out! I'm gonna need a water hose and duck feet! Water hose, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. <laughs> Yikes! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. Hey, we were wondering, what do elephants use their trunks for? Hi, Blippi and Diva. I'm Tempo. Whoa! We elephants use our trunks to help cool down by sucking up water and spraying it on our body. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down the slide again. Race you to the show! You're on! Whoa! How could you breathe underwater? That's another great thing about my trunk. I can breathe through it. Wow! Just like my nose. <coughs> exactly. Hey, speaking of noses, I smell bananas. Elephants have an excellent sense of smell. Come on, hop on my back. Oh, boy! Another slide! I wish we could go down that one, but the path is blocked! Check this out! Another great thing about trunks is that I can move just about anything! Last one down is a banana peel! Whoa! This is the best day ever! Whoa! Ready or not? Whoa! Elephants also use their trunks to make sound. 
sounds, like when we are excited. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Tembo, for helping me find the answer to my question. What do elephants use their trunks for? Elephants use their trunks to smell, breathe, make sounds, suck up water, and even grab things. <laughs> Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Blippi. See you next time you're in the savannah. Bye-bye, Tembo. <laughs> we had such a blast. <laughs>